Welcome back. The first step to actually post the assessment you created is to click on Save. Once your quiz is saved, you are going to see a set of new options down here. Now, if you want, you can preview the assessment. This will actually let you view the assessment on your iPad just as the students were would, just so you could see what it looks like. I'm not going to do that right now. Instead, I'm going to move right over to Post Assessment. So after you click on post assessment, the first thing you want to do is type in an assessment password. I like to just do a random assortment of numbers and letters. Then so that you don't forget it, you have it on hand, you want to copy that password that you're going to be using and you want to put it into a Notably document or a Google Doc. I'm going to put it right next to period two. This way when the students come into class, all I have to do is post that code, they'll type it into their iPads and they can then begin working on the quiz or the test. Now what you'll notice is I have a different category for each of my English 2 classes. The reason is, is because each different class is going to need a separate posting. So after you post it once, you're not done. You have to post it for each of your classes. And each of your classes is going to have a different start time, obviously, and each of your classes is going to have a different password. So you want to be able to keep track of all that, and a document is a good idea. So after you've created your password, you want to actually click on the course that you're posting it to, so the specific period. Now unfortunately, um, my classes haven't been added yet, so I can't do that. Um, but if they were here, which they will be in September, I would click on my particular course. So I'd start with, say, period two. Since this is period two, the first thing I want to do is when can they download it? Now you want them to download it the afternoon before. So you should have the test posted the afternoon before they actually take it. So let's say this test is on August 1st. I'm going to have them download it at 4 o'clock p.m. on the 31st, which means you have to have the test done by then. The download end, if this is a period two uh, quiz, I'm going to say the download end will be at 9, 10 a.m. on August first and that gives them a few minutes into class in case they forgot to download it at home they still have a chance to do it right at the beginning of class but they really shouldn't be doing that scheduled on I want it to be on August 1st and it is going to be at say 9.05 a.m. okay so after you've selected your particular course and you've put in all the correct times you don't really have to put anything in here. Don't give them a download password. And after that, you could just click on Post Assessment. I'm not actually going to click it just yet because I don't want to post this quiz. But you would click on Post Assessment, and then you'd repeat this process for each of your courses. The only difference would be that you would put a new assessment password. You'd click on the new course you change the download end time a few minutes into that course, and you change the time that it was scheduled. And then once you do it for all your classes, you're all set. So if any questions, please feel free to see anyone on the EdTech team, and refer to Graham Otten's PDF that he sent us all, because it goes through this process in great detail. Thank you so much for watching.